Okay. It says I'm live. Where am I? Why can you not see me? All right. Hold on a minute. I don't know if you're there. Oh, that's why. Hold on. <laughs> Don't know what's going on. Let's see. There we are. Okay, let's see if we have anybody on here live. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Okay. Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Let's see. I see two people, but I don't know who you are. So say hi. Welcome, welcome. I have a cute little 3D project to do today, and I have a huge pile of goodies that I received from the new catalog, so I'm super excited about that to share with you guys. Um, but that will, you guys will be able to get your hands on it unless you become a demonstrator, then you can get it like yesterday, but you can get your hands on it July, Jan, July, January 5th. You can start ordering from the new mini catalog and I will go ahead and, um, I don't see anybody on here. I don't know. Oh boy. Let's see. I am just having lots of difficulties tonight. There we go. Hi, Deb. Hi, Donna. Welcome, you guys. Hi, Diane. I don't know what happened. My comments, there they are. I don't know what happened there. Okay. So anyways, you guys can get your hands on um, these products now if you become a demonstrator and join my team, or you will have to wait until January 5th to get your hands on this. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Tuesday. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Um, I have a pretty good crowd here tonight. Woohoo! Um, let's see. Is anybody else here? Okay. So, I have a cute little 3D project. It's super simple. Cute little stocking stuffer for um, your hand sanitizers, or you can put some candies in there. We'll make that. It's really, really easy. But before we get started, I want to share with you guys, Stampin' Up! just announced that you can get free shipping one day only on December 15th, which is two days from now. That would be Thursday. Um, you can get free shipping on $75 or more. So that's a super cool deal. Awesome. Hi, Tina. Welcome. Um, so if you guys were thinking about placing an order, but haven't placed one yet, um, you may want to wait until Thursday to get that free shipping. Just to be warned, stamping up is about eight to 10 business days. I think it's business days. I'm pretty sure it was business days. Yes. Business days. Cause they don't ship on the weekends from, um, shipping out your products. So if you place an order now, you potentially have to wait eight to 10 business days until you get it. They're super swamped with orders. Um, the clearance rack and the last chance products are going like hotcakes. So, um, hi Tracy. Oh my goodness. I have a full, full house tonight. Woohoo. Tracy. That reminds me, I sent out your gift yesterday or today, one of those days for winning the card um, amount that you, you did the correct guess on. So you will get that in the mail, hopefully within the next couple of days. So, um, but yes, the free shipping is awesome. And it, yeah, it is not for the Christmas gift. So it's for anything you guys wanted that you were thinking of getting, you needed more supplies, um, you know, get your papers and stuff because papers are always heavy and that shipping adds up with those papers. Um, so don't miss out on that. December 15th, Thursday, one day only, $75 or more, you will get free shipping. Check out the clearance stuff. There's still a lot of great deals on that clearance rack. Um, that was refreshed not too long ago. Things are going. They are selling like crazy. And our wish list, yes, we have a million wish lists, don't we? And then the last chance products, those guys are going to go away January 4th, 
Yes, because January 5th, the new stuff comes out and I cannot wait to share. I haven't even like, I opened up the box uh, just a couple of hours ago, but I haven't really truly looked at anything. I kind of organized it off to the side so I can share with you guys. Um, but, you know, I was kind of like hesitant about doing that, but everybody had positive feedback when I asked about it. Everybody wants me to share. So I'm going to share and show you guys. Um, so let me flip you guys down. And then I will show you what we're going to be working on. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to be upside down. So <laughs> let's see here. Where is the... Are you guys upside down? Where am I? I'm all over the place here. Let's see. I don't have my little... There it is. Okay. So let's plop you guys the right way. And... See if I can readjust this a little bit. Here we go. And let's zoom in a little. It's a little bright, isn't it, guys? How's that looking? That is looking... I have to wait until the camera adjusts here. There we go. That looks pretty good. So there's my host code right up at the top. So you guys can um, use that with any order under $150. And you will get a present from me. Um, and if your order is over $150, do not use my host code. You will get your own rewards and you will still get a present from me. So let's go ahead and show you guys. Now, this one here, I used a retired stamp. I love this stamp set, but of course, I'm not going to use that. But I am going to show you how to make this little container. It's super cute. Um, it is great for the hand sanitizers. And they're really easy to make, too. So I've got a little piece of ribbon in there. There's your little hand sanitizer. Isn't that cute? You can fit candies in here, too. Um, the Giridaldi chocolates here. Giridaldi's, however the heck you pronounce them. You can fit three in here. Look at that perfectly. Um, you know, you could fit some Hershey Kisses in there. A couple of small little things. So it's a pretty easy, simple um thing to make so i will show you guys how we make it so cute all right so let me bring in the stuff we will need so it's just two pieces of cards or one dsp one cardstock cut nine by two for your cardstock your DSP is six and a quarter by two. So yeah, chocolate. Who doesn't love chocolate, right? So um, you're going to need your scoring tool for this or your trimmer or your scoring tool. I like the, I do like this scoring tool. I do have that. Um, but being how you're seeing how you're cutting this already, you're, you should already have your tool out. So with your real red piece here. You're going to want to score this at four. This one's real easy. Make sure it's the scoring blade too. Can you guys see this? I wish my comments were like off to the side so you guys, so I could see it better. Um, it looks like you guys can see it. So there's four, score it at four, and then slide it up to five, score it again. And that's it for that one. Your six and a quarter by two inch paper. This one here, you will be scoring it a few times. So <clears throat> let's see. Thanks, Donna. The lag in the comments are crazy. So with this, you're going to score it at two. So slide it over to two. Remember, score, not cut. And then three. And then five. And then six. So they're all in the description. Um, so don't worry about trying to remember all that. There are it's in the description of the video. So if you want to remake it, it'll be there for you guys. All right. 
So this guy here, we're going to fold on those two score lines. And I'm going to use the bone folder because I want to make a good crease in there. Um, so it'll look like this. So real simple. Now, before we do anything else, you're going to bring in your fancy tag topper. Now, I know this is not the fancy tag topper. I don't have the fancy tag topper. This is a retired one, which is very similar to the fancy tag topper or any of your fancier topping toppers. Topping toppers. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I'm so excited to to hear that. Um, Tracy said she used my gift bag card template for a teacher and it came out awesome. That is awesome. I'm so happy to hear that because sometimes I wonder when I'm up here by myself talking to you guys and sometimes I wonder if I'm making sense. But you guys all seem to say I make sense. So that's always good, right? So we're going to slide this all the way in to your your, um, what do you call this thing? A punch? We're going to slide it all the way in so that both sides are pressed firmly against the back. And then you're going to just punch that out. Like I said, the fancy tag topper will give you a similar cut at the top here. You could even take the trio punch. I forget the name of it. And there's a little slit in there, and you could just use that at the top. You don't have to cut the fancy ends, or you could use it for the fancy ends. So, I make sense all the time. Thank you, Deb. I truly don't think I do, but... <laughs> so, this guy here, this piece of paper, it's hard to see these score lines because of the design. Um, this paper is still available. It is the Santa, ooh, I don't know, Santa Express DSP. Let's see. I have it over here someplace. Sweetest Christmas. I always want to say Santa Express. The Sweetest Christmas. Um, so this one here, there's the four score lines, five score, four score lines. So we're going to take, we're going to fold this like that. And I'm going to try to, I know last week I said I was going to upload a template in the VIP group on the project we did. I just, I haven't had time. I'm working on it and I'll get this uploaded too. So you guys have it. So it'll look like this with all these little folds in it. So you're going to want to use your liquid glue for this. Yes, I think you are right. It does have more pink in it. That is right. I always, I'm using the Santa's delivery stamp set for this. So I get, I get them confused. I like that Stampin' Up! is doing the same name with their dies and their stamp sets now. So all I did was took a little bit of that liquid glue and put it on that little tab there. And I'm just going to push, put this right on the end here and just press it for a minute just to hold it down. Oh, it's not letting you post the picture. I wonder why. Huh. I always call the things the wrong names too. <laughs> so then... What you're going to do is this piece here, this is two inches, you're going to put your liquid glue, don't put it on this little fold here because that's going to be on the side, but you're going to put your liquid glue on this two inch piece here. And remember, this stuff goes, a little goes a long way. And we're going to swing this over. And we're going to fold that down there. Try to make sure everything's even as even as possible. This liquid glue only takes a quick second to um, tack down. So, and I love it that you can move it. I don't know if you guys seen it. It moved a little bit, and I was able to slide it back. So I love that about the liquid glue. Then you have this little side piece here. You're not going to put glue on it. You're going to put glue on this two-inch piece. 
So, again, the liquid glue goes a long ways. So then we're just going to slide that over, fold that over, I should say. And just hold that for a minute to let it tack down. And there's your cute little box. Isn't that cute? And it went together super simple, right? Yeah, it does go together so quickly. And if you needed to, like, I don't know, co-workers, you have a job with a lot of co-workers, this would be something easy to do. Put a little chocolates in it, tie it up, you're done. It wouldn't take that long to do. Teachers. You know, if you work with a lot of people. So there's our little box. I'm going to just set that aside for a minute and let that dry. I've already cut out the um, punch or punched out, I should say, with the double oval punch. Now, if this is not in your collections, it should be. It is one that I seem to use a lot. I have a couple of scrap pieces up here. So you have your um, larger piece here, and then you have the little piece in the middle so they go like that and I just I've been making um some calendars that I'm going to give with the new catalogs and I've been using this on here actually Deb did her calendars I watched her video and it, I did my calendars with post-it notes last year she just did like the calendar without the post-it notes and way simpler um, but I do like the ones with the post-it notes, but this one is so nice because it just folds up nice and flat for the mail, and this works on there so nicely. I love this punch. Yes, it is a lifesaver, isn't it? I just love it. I'm so happy that you're here, Deb. I'm so happy you're all here. I love it when you guys are here. I'm telling you, I know I've said this before, but when I used to do my lives... Nobody would come, and I just talked to myself, which I talked to myself a lot anyway, so it really wasn't any different, but it's more fun when friends are with you. So I'm using the Santa's Delivery. Um, um, yeah, way simpler. They are. They're so awesome. So I'm using this part, that, or the stamp here, Special Delivery Just For You. I love that one. So this fits really perfectly on that little oval shape there. So I'm using real red so it matches my cardstock. And then we're going to just stamp that right in the middle. And that's all the stamping I'm doing. So you could rattle off a whole bunch of these. If you knew you were going to make these up, you could punch and stamp those out like crazy. And then, um, what was I going to do? Well, I'm going to bring this back in. We're going to stick this right on here. This one here, where is he? So I used the little gingerbread man on him. So if you had other stamps, I just wanted this one to be really, really quick to show you guys how fast you could just whip these right out. Um, you obviously can decorate them and make them fancy and lots of fun stuff on them. So this one here. This is a scrap piece I had stamped. That's why I love our paper, or any paper, actually. There's two sides. So I'm going to use the liquid glue on that. You could do uh, Stampin' Up Dimensionals, too, and pop that up if you wanted to. Again, if you want to go for super quick, then liquid glue and you're good to go. I'm just going to put that right there. So this one, like I said, is super simple. Nothing real fancy. You wanted to bling it up, you could. You wanted to decorate it. Just wanted to show you guys how easy these were. So there's that. And then your little hand sanitizer fits right in there just like that. And you're going to take this beautiful mini um, ruffled ribbon. And you're going to take a piece of that. I like to fold it in half, and then I'll slip the end through like that. And then just pull that like that. And then 
I don't know where my sharp scissors are. I have a pair that are, oh, here they are. Yeah, the ginger man, bread man is so cute. I love that stamp set when we had it. So I'm going to take, and I'm just going to angle cut these. And then there it is. See how fast that was? I spent more time talking. If I would have just did it, it would have been done quicker. So that's that's it to that. So I thought, being that it's getting close to Christmas and we're doing all those little those little odds and ends and different things, that something like this would be um, easy to make, fun to make, fast to make. So that was it. I know usually I'm like spending a lot more time, but I have a big pile of goodies over here that I want to share with you guys. So we're going to go and we're going to start looking at my pile of stuff. I did, I've totally forgot what I ordered because when I order and if you guys, yeah, it's really quick and easy, right? And they fit nicely in stockings too. So if you had, um, you know, a teenager or whatever, and you wanted to do something, because you know how they get, they're like gift cards, gift cards, but you could do something like this too, along with a gift card or whatever you wanted to do. So super quick. So I got my pre-order in and I was like, I don't even remember what I ordered because when, like I was saying, when I order stuff, I end up putting like a million things in the cart and then my order's like $3 million. So, um, yeah, the quick crafts this time of year, that's what I thought. I'm like, Ooh, we got to do something quick, but I end up getting like my orders, like a million dollars. I'm like, yeah, I'm not rich, so I can't afford all that. So then I take everything out. So then when I get my order, I'm like, didn't I order it? Oh, wait, I took that out. So anyways, <laughs> um, I, these are new. This is a blending brush brushes storage. So if you guys have the blending brushes, um, this guy is a storage. I don't even know. Look at that. So you can take your blending brushes. It holds nine of them. Let me get a blending brush. Let's see. Okay. So your blending brush, you can hold them, stick them right in there. And then when you're crafting, did I do that right? So when you're crafting, you um, can have them right there at the ready. So if you're doing a card with a lot of colors and you're using a lot of your blended brushes, you can set this up. Or you can just set this to the side and keep all your blending brushes in one spot. I have mine in a plastic drawer right now that I use. Um, that I have mine in, but this would be great to put on your de your desk. Also, with the blending brushes, they in the new catalog there are mini blending brushes. You know how many times I've said, "Oh, I wish my blending brush was just a little bit smaller," because I really do love the blending brushes. Now they have mini ones. Look at that! So there's the bigger one, and there's the mini. So if you guys don't have any blending brushes, these are awesome. So look at that. And then your little holder there. I don't know which way they go. They go this way. Oh, that makes more sense. Die. <laughs> it's the little, um, there's a little like notch right there. So that's how they would go. See, that's much better. So there they are. I love that. So there's that. The holder is new and the little mini brushes, blending brushes are new. So fun. So if you guys would like a catalog, just let me know. Um, I can send one out. I'm sending them out to all my current customers. So I don't know where to put all my stuff once I once I show you guys, but I am sending them out to all my current customers. So if you have been a customer of mine within the last six months, then you will get a new catalog from me. Um, and if you would like to become a customer of mine, then just let me know and I will get you a catalog out. 
If you would like to purchase some of these products like now, then let me know and you can join my team and you can actually purchase them now. So this is a hand-drawn dots. It is a um, background stamp. So that's kind of neat. I thought that would be cool to do on the background of different things. The other thing that I noticed in the catalog was um, a new thing that they're doing is you can, um, on not all the stamps, but on a lot of the stamps now, you can pick if you want it photopolymer or the cling. So this is the cling. And I don't know, I probably have a photopolymer stamp set, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and th this one here is, it's called Occasionally Funny. So these are just sentiments that you can um, use on your different, you see, is there a glare on here? I don't know. I'm far behind up there. But this is different sentiments that you can use. Um, I like this one because <laughs> cheers to more years of asking your spouse, what's the password again? Um, you you did it graduate you will, is smart now too i know you're real age good things were friends good thing were friends and then congratulations on the new reason you have to wake up in the morning every single morning i love that so um this is a cute set this one here is a cling set so let's see did I lose you guys? Let's see. Oh, I lost my comments. There we go. All right. Then we have the Friendly Gnome stamp set. So these gnomes are so cute. Um, gnomes, for some reason, have taken off. Everybody loves the gnomes. I mean, they are cute. So I had to get this one. This is a photopolymer. Um, these guys here do not have any dies that coordinate with them or punches. The, the last couple of ones that I've shown you guys. So this is a photopolymer. So that's the difference between the cling and the photopolymer. The photopolymer is clear, um, stamp. Some people prefer photopolymer over cling and vice versa. I really like them both. So gnomes you got the gnomes diane oh that's good yeah they're cute silly goose this one is cute um i just thought these geese were so cute on the different things that they're doing and to color them and stuff so this one here is a cling stamp so silly goose and then this one is so fun. Love cats. Look at this one. Uh, this one will be a good Valentine's or a anniversary or just, hey, you know, miss you, love you, whatever. These cats are so cute. There is no dies or punches with this one. Um, the dies for the other set works. Oh, so are you saying the dies for this one, Diane, the Friendly Gnomes? That's, I didn't even know that. That's awesome. Okay, I'll have to look into that because I may need to get those dies then. Um, yeah, gnomes are everywhere. It's crazy. I'm like, what is with the gnomes? I think they're cute, but like we, I went to a craft fair and oh my gosh, gnomes, gnomes, gnomes. But this one's so cute. This is a cling stamp set too. Um, no st um, dies or anything with that one. So that's cool. I'm going to have to look into that. So Diane said that the gnome dies that we have right now currently go match with this. So I'm going to have to get those gnome dies. Next I have something fancy. So there's fancy sentiments. This is a cling set. Um, and again, I'm not sure which ones, cause I prefer the cling on some of them. So I don't know if they're only cling. You have to look in the catalog. Cause like I said, not all of them, you get a choice, but quite a few, you get to choose whether you want cling or photopolymer. So there's some pretty, every, not every day, but 
you would use this stamp set all year. There's a lot of different sentiments on here. Congratulations, happy birthday, sympathy, um, all kinds of things on here. So, and then this is the dies with them, something fancy. So I think when I was looking at this, I wanted the dies, and it only makes sense to bundle so you can save the money. But I think I wanted these dies. Yes, I wanted these dies. So I do like the sentiments, but I really wanted the dies. So if I'm going to buy the dies, I'm going to buy the stamp set too because you're saving money. So these are the dies that go along with this. So they'll fit on um, these sentiments will fit on these dies here. So good shape dies. So there's that. There were so many things that I wanted that I just didn't get. That's okay. I'll get them. On the ocean, this comes with dies. This is a cling set. Um, I love this. I like this sentiment. We can weather this together. I'd be lost without you. Hoping this year is full of adventure and excitement. So here are the dies. I can't show you guys the catalog, but I can show you all the products that I bought. I can show you the front cover of the catalog, but if you become a demonstrator and join my team, um, you can see the catalog. You can see it online, actually, before you get your paper one. I prefer the paper one. How about you guys? Do you like the paper one? So this one's really cute. You've got the waves here. You've got this pirate ship. I thought this would be cute um, for male birthday cards. Or even like um, boys. I mean, I know th the happy birthday would, would work, but the boats, I know little boys like the boats and the ships and pirates. So I thought this was a fun one. I like that little skull there. So you can see you've got the different, um, you've got the boat and then you got the two different sails that you can cut out. So my thought with this is to do like a, a standing up boat, but I don't know, like at 3D, not on the card. I could just see those sails billowing out and the boat is standing up. But anyways, I'll probably never get to it because I have all these thoughts and they never seem to make it to paper. Yeah, the paper one, I do too. I agree. Seems like everybody loves the paper one. I just love the feel of it. And the projects inside it, you know, you can see them online. You don't see them unless you look at the online catalog. But um, I just love the paper, the paper one. So this one here is a sweet. So this one I was really excited to get. Let me pull the paper that goes to it. You don't have to get the sweet. You can get just the... Um, just the paper, just the stamps, whatever you want. So, oh yeah, you can put it in a bottle. That's so cool. Yep. That's a good idea. So this is the, uh, let me look. I can't show you guys, but let me look. I forget the name of it. Rings. What is it called, you guys? Let's see. I think it's right here. It is rain. Is this the one? Rain or shine? Playing in the rain. Yes. This is rain or shine sweet. So the whole sweet is $85.25. And I did get the whole sweet. So you guys can see what you would get in the whole sweet. So let's take a look at this. So here's the paper. Um, this paper, I haven't even looked at it, but I I can feel the clouds. They're puffed up out there, like they're embossed on there. So, you know who's missing tonight? Amy's missing. I wonder which, where she is. Well, is she missing? She hasn't joined, right? I didn't see her on here. Nope. She must be doing something because she usually does not miss the lives. So, this paper is cool. Like I said, you can feel these clouds are embossed. Look at how pretty. You could use this as a scrapbook um, piece. So I haven't even looked at this paper. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. I bet you there's dyes in here that would fit on there. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. And that rain, and the, there's embossed, 
There's embossed pieces on there. Oh, you guys got to get this. This paper's so cute. Oh, there she is. Speaking of her, there she is. Hi, Amy. I was just saying, I wonder where Amy is. She's usually always here. You'll have to re-watch this because um, I made a cute little fun little crafty thing at the beginning, and I think you'll like it. But yeah, this paper is so cute. But I bet you, maybe, let's see. Oh, yep. Look at that. The dies will cut out. There's a turtle. Nope. There's the, yep, it'll cut these guys right out of this paper. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> nope, that's not the, that's the, where's the turtle? Right there. So you can see the critters in here. You can cut them right out of this piece of paper. Isn't this paper cute? Oh my gosh. I don't want to cut this paper up. It's so cute. But nope, we can't we can't do that. So anyways, those are the dies. Let me bring in the dies while I have them out to show you guys. So these are all the dies that come with it. So of course there's the three animal shapes. Um oh boy, I started backwards. I should have. Oh, that's terrible. There is a well, I hope they're okay. This is the stamp set playing in the rain. So there's the cute little fox with the umbrella, the bunny, the turtle. And then you have rainy days are better with you. Oh, happy day. This set is so adorable. And then it's a cling set. So you have in here, the dies will cut out these guys. You have the umbrella, which will cut that out. There's clouds. It'll cut out those clouds. Um, that looks like it'll be the flowers. See, can you guys see my good? Wow, I'm far behind up here. I want to make sure. Yeah, I think you guys can see me good. Um, so, let's see. What else is in here? There's a tree stump over here. There's, I'm not quite sure. What, oh, butterflies. That looks like the little puddle right there that'll cut out. There's bow ties, a kite, then there's some grass right there, some more grass, and then not quite sure what that is. There's something there. It looks like, I'm not sure. And then you have that fence there. So there's quite a few dies. So those dies coordinate with playing in the rain stamp set. And then the paper. Let's get back to the paper, you guys. Oh my gosh, this paper is so cute. Yes, this paper. You got to get this paper. So you guys can feel it. You could feel the embossed. Uh, oh, that's all embossed. It's rain, all embossed. So pretty. Oh, look at how cute. Little pig and turtle and the dogs. And again, there the umbrella, the shell of the turtle, the raincoat. There, you can once you get it, you'll be able to feel it in your hands. It's really cool. Those are going to make some super cute cards. Some more rain embossed. Oh, look at the umbrellas. Oh, this is going to be fun, you guys. Can you can you guys just see all the different cards, spring cards you can make with these? I'm already excited about spring. <laughs> so let's flip it over and see what's on the other side. So we have just different pattern. I think this paper is going to be a hit. Pretty. Look at that. Ooh, I like that one. That one's pretty too. This paper is gorgeous. So, did you guys um, order this yet? Because after this video, you probably will be ordering it, you guys. Well, the people, the girls, the ladies on my team. So, this tells you what it coordinates with, what colors. And it coordinates with 
Basic Black, Balmy Blue, Cajun Craze, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, and Old Olive. So this paper, Diane, you are going to buy it. You have to buy it. It's so cute. You will love it. You've got to buy it. You've got to buy it, Diane. So that is the suite. Along with the suite, you can get the embossing folder, which embosses out the raindrops. And then this is the last part of the suite. These are loose daisy embellishments. What it's called, the paper is called Rain or Shine. And it is in the suite. I can't show you it, but it's on page page 50 of the catalog, Amy. And it's the Rain or Shine Suite Collection. So these guys are adorable. They're like little um, rubber embellishments. They're, they're thin. I like how they're thin. That one's thick, but they're all thin, super thin. Those are pretty. So that's all part of that suite if you guys want it. Um, Yep, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do I'm gonna be working with this one because this one's fun. Diane, you're gonna get it before you even know you're gonna get it. You're gonna be like, oh crud, I have to get it now. So that's the Rain or Shine suite. And then um we have Happy Labels, which is another sentiment one. Um and it it pairs up with this new punch so this punch cuts out like that's almost like a ticket shape then you've got a scalloped edge shape so again you can do <clears throat> the different sizes whatever it is i think it's what a half three quarter and an inch i think that's what it is doesn't say on here but um so that's a cool different punch so yes I want it all too. <laughs> so the, the these are cute. So these pair together happy label. And then we have another suite which I don't think I got the whole suite. I can't remember if I got the whole suite or not, but let me pull that up in the catalog. This is the here's this paper. Let me pull that up in the catalog because I'm not sure. I think, I don't think, I think there was embellishments with it and I didn't like the embellishment, the look of the embellishments. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, this is a big suite. That paper goes with it. So, and there's embellishments. I can't show you them. They're um, pastel adhesive back sequins. Um, I, I don't know. I've gotten a lot of sequins over the years and I tend not to use them. So I didn't get the sequins with this. But if you wanted to get the whole suite, which would include all of this plus those sequins, it's called the Country Floral Lane. And this one is on page eight of the catalog. And um, it's $78.75 for the whole suite. But again, you don't have to get the suite. You can break it down. You can buy just, you know, pieces of it, whatever you want to do. Let's see. Oh, the sweet citrus bundle. Yeah, that was in my cart, but then I had to take it out because I couldn't afford everything I wanted. So this comes with this real red and burlap ribbon combo pack. So you've got that stitched white in there with your ribbon and then that satin red color. And then this is the stamp set Country Bouquet. So um, it says, I love that we are friends for you. I love you with love. Happy Valentine's Day. Just wanted to say. And then you have these different <clears throat> heart shapes. So this will cut out. It looks like it'll cut out these, this heart and that that part I believe so there's that that's going to be pretty and it's a photopolymer stamp 
again, I can't remember if, well, I got the catalog right here. Let me see if you can see. Nope, that one is just a photopolymer stamp. So I don't know if you caught it, Amy, um, in the, Diane's not buying that one either. Um, in the catalog, some of the stamp sets now they're offering either uh, photopolymer, photopolymer or cling. You can choose between them. So that's the stamp set and that is the punch and then the ribbon. So, and these are the two packs of paper that you can get with the suite or you can buy them separately. So this one here is called Country Gingham. So let me pull this one out. So this obviously is going to be the gingham style there. And then you've got on the other side the same patterns, just in different colors. So this is... Balmy Blue, Mint Macaroon, Petal Pink, and Sweet Sorbet are the colors in this paper. And then this paper here is the Country Floral Lane. So this, again, you could um, bundle this if you wanted to. Let's see what this paper looks like. So you have your floral little heart, and I bet you this punch, I don't know if it'll punch out that heart. I think that heart's a little, well, maybe it will. Let's see. No, that's not going to punch that one out, is it? Nope, that's too, too little. But there's that, and then the back side is XO and hearts. Then you have this flowery design, and then heart design there. I see lots of valent. Ooh, look at that one, squirrel! I see lots of Valentine cards with this paper. Love cards, anniversary, and then I like how the um, there's a lot of different like like this one here. You can you doesn't have to go with Valentines or anything. It's no hearts on it or anything like that. There's some pretty flowers on there. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one. Let's see. And then we have, oh, that one's really pretty. Now this is probably where this punch will match up. Yep, see? Look at that. That punch will match right up and punch out that whole section there. So that's cool. I love when Stampin' Up! designs stuff like that to match our um, tools that they give us, our dies, our whatever it is, you know. So then the back side of this is, that's pretty. And then I love that sweet sorbet color. It's not pink, but it's not red. It's a great mix in between the two. And then this one, Balmy Blue, Mint Macaroon, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink, and Sweet Sorbet are the coordinating colors. So that paper is really pretty. I'm telling you, though, my favorite is that um, Rain or Shine. That's my favorite. All right, let me put that aside. You guys getting bored with this, or do you like this? It's kind of fun. I haven't looked at any of this stuff, so I'm kind of seeing it for the first time, too. Then we have this one I'm super, super excited for because we haven't had a St. Patrick's Day stamp from Stampin' Up! in forever. I don't know how long it's been, but this is a St. Patrick's Day stamp. I'm super excited. Um, so, you've got a good friend is like a four-leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. Love that. Sending luck and love, good luck, happy St. Patrick's Day, and then you have those shamrocks. 
that coordinate with this shamrock um, punch. So I'm super excited that we actually do have a stamp set now and a punch for St. Patrick's Day. The other one that I wish that we would have more of is 4th of July, uh, Memorial Day, more like, um, you know, stuff like that. Flowers and more DSP. I might have that one. I am not sure. You didn't get the stamp, but you got the punch. Yeah, I thought about it because I'm like, I don't know if I, but I wanted a St. Patrick's Day stamp, and I don't have one in my my um, collection here. So this one here is called Easter Bunny. Look at that cute little bunny. Um, happy Easter. It's a new day, an Easter treat for you. Enjoy all the little moments. You're a friend like no other. Hi, and then it's got the cute little bird, the eggs, the carrots, and flowers, and the coordinating punch that goes with this bunny here. So, and these wouldn't be too hard to fussy cut out. I mean, they're pretty simple, so if you wanted to cut them out, you could. But you do have the Easter Bunny punch. And then, let's see, is this new paper? This is the Regency Park paper. I didn't buy the set, the stamps or anything, but I wanted to get the paper. So it's six by six. And this is the paper. There's there are four of each design. Yep, four of each design. That. My goodness, there we go. Lots of flowers. Very pretty, though. Try not to make you guys dizzy. I thought that was, that's almost the same. It's just a different, different background color. I like these videos because then you're like, well, I don't know. I didn't see it out of the package and it looks kind of nice and I think I need it. This is a um, big pack. I think there's 48 in here. Let's see. Yep, 48. You have that. And that one. And then I'm assuming the back's going to be like a neutral type pattern. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. That would be good for, um, I'm thinking, like maybe some manly birthday cards. pretty. I don't know. I, I like the 12 by 12 paper. I wish they would just do all 12 by 12. Some people really like just the six by six. So that's fun. That one is called the Regency Park six by six DSP. And then it does tell you here, coordinating Bommy Blue Mel Wow, okay. Mango Melody, Night of Navy, Petal Pink, Shaded Spruce, and Sweet Sorbet. Those are the ones. Diane loves the six by six. See? Some people love it. Some people are like, why do they even make it? Um, and then I've got this paper here. This is the flowers and more, Amy. Here it comes. Now, I forget if this was free or if we had to buy it. Was it a host set? I can't remember. It's a big pack of paper. Um, I think it was. Was it free? I don't even know. Let's see. Let me check celebration. was not in the celebration. So let's see. I'm trying to think if it was the host paper or if it was just paper you could buy. There it is. 
That is a host paper. So if you have a party or you buy enough product, which is over $150, you can buy this paper, Flowers and More, for $18 for all this paper. And that's if your party is $150 or more. Thank you. Yes, awesome. So this paper is really fun. So look at this paper. It's hard to show the paper. Ooh, look at that. Wow. That one jumps off the page. I like those colors together. Again, flowers. Um, we always have a lot of flowers, but Stampin' Up! said people love the flower stuff. They always flock to the flowers. They buy the flowers. I like the flowers to a point. Some of this paper is really pretty, and some of it, I don't know. Like, those colors are kind of fun. So, for $18, this is a heck of a deal for all this paper. that. Ooh, look at that one. That's fun. That reminds me of like the 70s retro stuff, doesn't it? Oh, that one's pretty. All right. And then the back side of this, let's see what we got. Oh, we got some fun designs. That's a large pack of paper. Oh, that'd be fun for like a birthday card. Wouldn't that be a fun birthday card background? These are nice because if you don't like the flower design, you can um, use the back side. And it's a more neutral type design. That looks like fun co confetti. Oh my goodness. Purple. Pink dots. And that funky blue wavy stuff. So that one's a pretty fun pack of paper. Yeah, it is a really good value, isn't it? I agree with you. So this coordinates, I guess, am I making you seasick with the movement? Blackberry Bliss, Crush Curry, uh, Fresh Freesia. Orchid Oasis, Pale Papaya, Parakeet Party, Polished Pink, Shaded Spruce, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide. So this coordinates with a lot of different colors. So if you didn't have them all, you should have at least one of them in your collection. So that's a good amount of paper for that. 48 sheets of 12 by 12 for 18 bucks. So... Let's see, what do we got next? We have, here's a couple of things that I bought. Just, these are the Alphabet Elamode dies. They didn't really, court, they, there's a stamp set in there, but I didn't care for it, that it came with or that coordinated with it. Um, so I just got the dies, because look at that. You could use these. So you got the whole alphabet, plus you've got the numbers, plus you have, um, you know, an exclamation, ampersand sign. You've got a, two little dots, a line. Um, so you've got all of these, and you've got double letters on some of them, some of the more popular letters. So if you needed a word that had a couple of A's in it, you know, you can run two at a time. So they're little skinny letters. So I think this is going to be a popular one. I always like the letter dies. So that is called Alphabet Elamode dies. And 
Then we have these adhesive milky, no, adhesive backed milky dot, milk, milky dots. Wow, I can't talk. So these guys looked kind of interesting in the catalog. They're really shiny. So those are super pretty. And there's 200 in here. So there's quite a bit of them, but they're really pretty. And then there's this embossing folder that I thought was kind of cool. It's called the Cane Weave 3D Embossing Folder. So that's got a cool little, almost like a basket type shape to it. And I thought that would be good with the Easter set. I thought I had an idea in there. Um, and then all the free stuff. So there's this stamp set for celebration. This is free with a $50 purchase, is it? $50 purchase. This is free. This one here is, um, you know which one I didn't get? I know I ordered it. I don't see it here. The Adorable Owls. How did I not get that one? Okay, so anyways, thanks a bunch. So this one will be fun to coordinate with that bunny punch. So there's a bunch of little sentiments here. You can do the two-step carrot right here, two-step leaf. Stamp your leaf, and then you have the shading there. Um, so that's cute for free. For If you spend $50, then you can pick out this stamp set for free. Beautifully Happy is another free one through Celebration. This one, I believe, is $100 purchase. So this one here is a photopolymer. If you make a $100 purchase, you can pick this stamp set for free. So I like that little B on there. But these flowers, um, I think they're going to stamp out like that realistic look. These look like they're going to be pretty. Let's see. I should have told you guys to grab some popcorn. I didn't know how long it was going to be, but it's pretty long unboxing this stuff. Um, sending support. This is another free one through celebration. Sending support is, is it 50? Let's see. $50. So if you spend $50, you can get this stamp set for free. This is, um, I don't know. I really like this one. There's some nice sentiments in here. Um, so this is a good one. Like this one here, there are so many ways you might feel right now. So there's a lot of things. It's okay not to feel okay. I really like that one. So that one's free with $50 purchase. And then, oh, at the pond, this is a host set. So if you spend $150, you can get this set for free. Look at that cute little frog. It's a two-step um, stamp set again. So you stamp out the outline of your frog, and then you can do the shading of the frog, or you can just leave them. Same thing with the log. Um, super cute. This one here is a photopolymer. And then lastly, I have paper that I got for free. So this is the Dandy Designs. Is that free? Did that is that a free paper? <laughs> I think it is. Let me double check. Maybe it's not. No, it is free. Dandy Designs. It's free with a hundred dollar purchase. I know there's so much. I, there's so many that I want. Yes, it does have a dragonfly. Cute little dragonfly. Look at how cute. I know Donna. That's probably on your list to get. She loves those dragonflies. So this one here is another great deal. It is forty-eight, I believe. Yep, forty-eight sheets. With a $100 purchase, you can pick this one out for free. Pretty paper. Ooh, look at that. There's some fun paper in here. Ooh. 
Wow, that one's bright, you guys. Look at that. So it looks like it's pretty much the same design, just in different colors here. Oh, wait, that's a little different. And that one there. That's the last one. Let me pick this up. I thought I got that adorable owl, but maybe I didn't. I don't see that stamp set here. I'm going to have to check my order. But like I said, I had put a bunch of things in my cart, and then I had to take a bunch of things out. Ooh, that would be fun for um, St. Patrick's Day. I like that color. You could do, you could cut out a shamrock with that. I bet you this shamrock would look awesome in that paper. I bet you. Let's let's see. I bet you the shamrock would look so. Yep. Look at that, you guys. Look at that shamrock. That's awesome. So, I know what I'm going to do with that paper. <laughs> I love that little shamrock. Look at that. That's so cute. There's that. I want summer now and spring with all these fun colors and designs. We're supposed to be getting snow again, aren't we? Oh, that's pretty. Nice Eastery type color. Ooh, that one's... That reminds me of a, uh, like a tile backsplash on your kitchen. Yeah, that shamrock came out really cute. Or a pool. <laughs> That's fun. Easter basket for Easter. I like that. That's pretty. I really like that shamrock, though. Isn't it cute? So, again, that one is free with a $100 purchase. That is called the Dandy Designs. And it coordinates with Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Coastal Cabana, Fresh Freesia, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, and Petal Pink. And then I have two more no, one more pack, two more. Two more packs of paper that were free. So this is free with a $50 purchase, I think. Let's see. Yes, $50 purchase. This coordinates with a stamp set in the catalog. I did not get it. I don't know if I'm going to get it. Um, I probably will after I see people creating with it, but I don't know. But this does coordinate with a set that's in the new catalog. <laughs> I know. There's so many sets in there. I know. Snow is a bad word. I don't even want to think about it. So, got those farm animals on here. Again, this is free with a $50 purchase. Oh, that's cool. That would make a good um, scrapbook page. I don't know how I feel about this paper. I don't know how I feel about this paper. Let's flip it over and see what the backside looks like. So we have hills. Thank you. 
Oh, I like that. That's kind of pretty. Well, not pretty, but it's kind of cool looking. Oh, that would be nice for like a chicken. Like that's chicken wire, so some kind of chickeny card. I have an old chicken stamp set. And then that. I really don't know how I feel about this paper, guys. But that's free with a $50 purchase. And then finally, I know you guys are like, all right, all right. <laughs> This is the Dainty Flowers 12 by 12. This is free, I believe, with a $50 purchase. Let me just double check. Yep, free with a $50 purchase. You got the stamp set, but not the DSP. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get that stamp set. Diane, you'll have to make stuff with it and tell me I need it. This is pretty. Oh, look at that. Cut these right out and you have your little frame. Oh, I like that one, you guys. This is pretty. I like this paper. So that's the one side. Let's flip her over. Ooh, look at this one. It's a pretty one. You got this DSP, Amy? It's really pretty. Diane loves the flowers. Look at that. Even the back side of this is super pretty. Look at that. So that's really, really pretty. $50. I like that better than the farm animal, animal paper, but that's just me. Um, so that's called the Dainty Flowers. Uh, Blushing Bride, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Mossy Metal, Old Olive, Rich Razzleberry, and Starry Sky coordinates with that. So that is it, you guys. I know that's a lot of stuff, right? Um, let me flip you guys up, but let me just show Amy. I don't know if she's seen this, but this was what we crafted at the very beginning. It took like no time at all to craft that. So if you want to learn how to do that, you'll have to watch the replay at the very beginning. Let me flip you guys up. So I think I'm upside down. Let's see. Am I upside down? Yep, I am upside down. There we go. Okay, so thank you guys for um, opening up my stuff with me. That was kind of fun having somebody share it. So um, that's just a little bit of the stuff that's in the new catalog. There's so many awesome stuff. There's such, such fun stuff in there. So um, if you guys are wanting to get your hands on that stuff, like now, let me know. We can get you signed up. You can join the team and then you can order from the new stuff. You can place your order, um, get your, you know, your, um, demo, become a demo and get all your fun stuff. So, Anyways, if you guys are interested, let me know, and I would be more than happy to show, share with you guys. Don't forget about the free shipping coming Thursday, and um, that's it, guys. I won't take up any more of your time. It's been like an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, my gosh, this is the longest live I've ever done. I'm tired. I want to go to bed now. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me bring you guys over here and um i will see you guys next thursday again if you guys have any questions on any of the new cat products or if you want a new catalog let me know i will be more than happy to to get you guys one you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you guys again next tuesday right yeah i'll see you guys next tuesday so have a great rest of your week and take care bye guys